This security awareness training covers phishing, or how hackers fish for victims. It is often easier to trick people who already have access to a computer than it is to hack into the computer itself. For example, to steal money from a bank, a criminal might trick a dozen of the bank's customers into making withdrawals rather than attacking the bank's computers themselves. Since the cost of sending electronic messages like email is basically free, hackers use them to find new victims. Hackers' messages will often make outrageous claims or tell you something is wrong to catch your attention. For example, hackers often use fake account closed, friend request, or free money messages to lure people. In fact, this approach is where the term phishing comes from. When hackers fish for their victims using enticing messages as bait, security experts call it phishing with a PH. Hackers will do anything they can to grab your attention. They may send alarming messages such as, your account has been cancelled, or money withdrawn, please confirm. They may send outrageous messages such as, see who lost 50 pounds in 6 weeks. Or they may send tempting offers such as, free rentals, 80% off, or you won the international lottery, please contact me to collect $10 million. Phishing attacks try to get you to reveal private information, lower your defenses, or to help attack other targets. Phishing attacks usually ask you to click links that go to hackers' websites, download dangerous files, fill out personal forms, or reply to the message with private information. You should delete all phishing messages on site. If you see a coworker or friend receive a phishing message, you should also encourage them to delete it immediately. If you cannot determine whether a message is phishing or not, you may try to contact the sender to verify it. However, you should never use any of the communications methods suggested by a suspicious message to verify its contents. Over the past few minutes, you learned how to identify and avoid phishing messages and when to report or verify suspicious messages. Please review or print these takeaways and then click continue to complete the module.